Hey, welcome back mga kamote at para po sa mga bago dito, welcome to Kamote Reviews, ang tech channel na gumagawa ng mga unboxing, reviews, tips and tutorial videos. And today, gagawa tayo isang product review. Ang ating reviewin, ang Razer Siren Mini. So ano pang hinihintay natin? Let's do this! Okay, uh, before we go deep diving doon sa mic itself, let's talk about yung company muna, no? yung Razer. This one, no? yung Razer. Dito yung logo nila, ito yung pangalan nila. R-A-Z-E-R. -E so, yung company nito is their morning to gaming. So, they have gaming mouse, they have gaming keyboards, they have a uh, gaming chair now. Dati wala silang ganoon ngayon, meron silang gaming chair, meron na rin silang gaming webcam. Uh, of course, meron silang mga mic, no gaming mic. And then, um, and they have some of the uh, really good gaming laptops out there as well. So anything gaming, you can say that's Razer. That's what they do. Now, uh, if you're not into gaming, don't feel na parang hindi na para sa yung product na to. Okay? Check, of course, that's branding. They're trying to target yung mga gamers. But yung mga products, the, the, this, the keyboards, the mouse, and then yung mic. This mic will still work kahit hindi nyo gagamitin for gaming. Alright? Just to be reminded. So, don't feel na parang sobrang exclusive nito para sa mga uh, gamers lang. Now, having said that, let's get into this. So, first off, uh, as usual, tingnan muna natin. So, ito yung box. Ganito yung box niya. Standard. Yung color ng, uh, yung trademark color ng uh, Razer. And then, one thing about this that I want to show to you is this. No? Nakalagay dyan, streamer certified. Compatible with XSplit and then OBS. So, if you're not familiar, yung XSplit sa kayong OBS, sa yung mga ginagamit na pang stream ang uh, mga gamers. So, yung streaming software na ginagamit nila. So, sabi yung product na to is compatible with that. So, later we'll try to find out kung ano ibig sabihin na. Uh, and hindi lang naman yan. Kahit ibang uh, streaming software, pwede nyo rin gamitin for sure. Like Streamlabs OBS, hindi nakalagay dito. But, I mean... I don't see any reason why it should not work with this mic. So, anong makukuha nyo sa loob ng mic, uh, ng box na to? Uh, so, pag-usapan natin yung nasa loob nyan. And then, at the same time, pag-usapan na rin natin yung build ng makukuha nyo sa loob. So, first up, of course, yung mic mismo. So, as you can see, yung mic parang itsura niya mukhang gamot, di ba? <laughs> mukhang capsule. Pero, that's the idea. Compact yung mic uh, na to. So, it's 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 handy. Um, yan. Uh, plastic siya. And then, itong part na to, plastic. And then, um, ito is uh, matibay naman. Hindi siya madaling mayupi. Pagka pinipisil-pisil. And then, makikita ninyo, yan, may ilaw siya actually. So, mamaya makikita natin itong ilaw. Aside from that, wala nang iba. Walang volume control. Walang monitoring dito. Uh, just this light na magsasabi or magi indicate na naka-on yung mic and then meron din of course yung logo and then sa likod, uh, ayan lang nakalagay lang ng ganyan so, right, so yan yung mic mismo uh, very compact as I have said no? at kunin ko yung isang mouse ko ah. ayan. parang kasing laki lang siya ng mouse ko <laughs> right so, now moving on and then kasama rin sa loob nyan is itong mic stand so Maliit lang din. Everything is compact with this mic. So, yung mic stand, everything is plastic. Tapos, yung likod is parang may stopper. Uh, actually, hindi siya stopper. Parang uh, cushion lang ang dating. Right? There you go. And then, ito, yung parang extender uh, noong mic. So, ito, mamaya, i-assemble natin yan. Nilalagay yan dito. Ini-screw yan dito. And then, you have your USB mic. So, one thing about this mic... This is a USB mic. So, itong USB mic na to, one thing I always love about USB mics is that they're plug and play. Um, para sa akin, simplicity is everything. If you don't need any external sound cards, that will be better. Of course, may mga ibang function yung mga external sound cards. Or minsan kung may mga external mixers pa kayo. If you like that, there's no problem with that. Para sa akin lang, especially kung gusto nyo ng tamang, yung simple lang ba? Wala nang kung ano-ano pang ginagalaw, di ba? Kasi pag gusto nyo magre-record yung mag-stream kayo, just let it record or uh, just let it play and then that's it. So that's the beauty of it. So this is a, uh, a USB mic. So ito yung uh, USB cable na kasama. So it's your normal 
USB. So this is, I'm um, not sure, maybe it's a USB 3.0. Pero usually kasi USB 3.0 is kulay blue yung, <laughs> yung nasa loob. This is green, they're trademark green. So I don't know, maybe yun yung ano yun na USB 3.0 yan. Uh, and then pati yung sa kabila, pansin niyo yung micro USB is also a, um, uh, yung mayroon nilang trademark na color. no So pag nakita yan, trademark color ng green nila. So, you know, they, they want that sa kanilang uh, mga products. And then, um, you also have, of course, your documentation. So, more than the standard documentation, or more than yung, yung mga dati kong nireview na mic na mga budget condenser mic or budget mic na nabibili online, uh, na parang halos useless yung documentation. This one seems to have more information uh, in it, no? But, of course, hindi naman... The thing about this, as I always said, it's plug and play. You can just uh, plug it sa computer nyo and then boom, you just use it. And then, meron din of course, um, sticker. So, ito yung, yung three, uh, free na sticker. So, may dalawang uh, yung logo nila and then yung pangalan ng company. Uh, yep, so that's it. No, yan yung kanilang product. Now, one thing about this cable though, um, I wish it's USB-C kasi... Most of the cables or most of the products na ginagamit ngayon is USB-C na. But anyway, it's not a showstopper. Um, marami pa rin namang nakuhang USB o micro USB ngayon. So I think that should be just fine. Okay, now let's go sa assembly nitong mic na to. So, uh, una, kunin muna natin tong... Uh, now, let's go sa assembly ng mic na to. So, ang unang-una natin gagawin is um, kunin natin tong stand and then ikabit natin tong parang extension niya. So, ganito lang naman yan. Simple lang. Okay. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang liit lang niya, di ba? <laughs> so, ganyan lang ka uh, laki yung extension. So, kung medyo mababa yung desk ninyo, uh, baka hindi... Yeah, alam yun, sobrang hindi aabos sya nyo yung mic. I'm for sure, malakas naman yung pickup ng mic na to. But, if gusto nyo nakatutok na gano'n, you might have to get another stand. Kasi nga, maliit lang sya. One thing about the stand though, is narorotate sya. Very minimal. I don't know if you guys can see it. Pero, ayan, nakatulad yan. Na medyo naka, ano na sya, ba So, nagagalaw sya. Uh, and, uh, you can move it around. Hindi lang sya parang sa isang direction. But, ayan, you can... Uh, move it around like that but so still very limited yung angle so ganyan lang siya so just to let you know na ganyan yan. and then pag mayroon na kayong ganyan this one ikakabit nyo lang dito sa extension na yun sa mini extension na to <laughs> right and then once you're done with that so ayan na yung mic no? nakaganyan na ayan na yung mic and then all you need to do is i-connect tong uh, micro USB na end Itong micro USB na end na to dito sa likod right pakikita uh, nyo ba so ayan kapit natin ha ayan so kung pansin nyo talagang ayan sakto ba so may concavity now don't feel limited ito lang yung pwede nyo gamitin cable pag just just in case nasira tong cable na to pwede nyo naman tong palitan of of course medyo mahihirapan kayo na yung saktong ganyan diba pero important dyan basta nasasaksak nyo sya dyan and then this end kailangan nyo lang i-connect sa inyong PC alright and then that's it this mic should be working so let me just do that now ikabit ko lang muna tong uh, end na to sa PC okay so one moment Alright, so nakakabit na tong mic na to sa PC ko. So, yan yung indicator. Iilaw yung green na light. Uh, which just means na naka-on na siya. By the way, hindi pa ako dito nagsasalita or hindi pa itong mic na to yung gamit ko ngayon. Ang gamit ko pa yung uh, default mic ko sa setup ko. Uh, so, ayan. So, kapag nakakabit na siya sa PC nyo, mag-green siya. And uh, that's it. No? That's all that you have. It's just an indicator na gumagana siya or naka-on na yung mic. Again, wala kang mute button, wala kang on and off dito, wala ka rin direct monitoring. Uh, just this green light. Now, uh, don't feel like it's the end of the world kasi walang kung ano mang controls dito. It's still, a, it's still a, a, going to be a functional mic. So don't worry about that. Okay? 
Okay, naka-setup na ngayon yung mic natin. Ito ng uh, Razer Siren Mini, yung ating gagamitin mic from here on. Uh, by the way, nagpalit ako ng mic stand kasi medyo mababa talaga or mic li yung mic stand na kasama doon sa box. Uh, and I want it to be uh, more direct sa bosses ko. So, uh, gumamit ako ng ibang uh, mic stand. So, by the way, that's a separate purchase. So, don't expect na may mic stand na ganito dun sa box. Ito yung kasamang mic stand. Alright? Now, it's not that hindi na to um, uh, gagana or mahina or I mean, hindi pwede tong mic stand na to. Pwede naman to eh. It's just that sa video na to, kasi gusto kong makita nyo na ito yung gamit ko. Kapag ito yung ginagamit ko kasi, napipika pa rin niya yung sound kaso hindi nyo na nakikita sa video. So, <laughs> Kaya gumamit ako ng mas mataas na mic stand. So obviously, pwede nyo rin itong ilagay sa boom arm. Um, it's just that this one, kagamit lang ako ng desk na mic stand. So pagdating dun sa setup ko sa PC uh, or dun sa recording software ko, right now, uh, yung volume niya is nakaset lang sa around 90%. Alright? Anyway, enough of that mic stand uh, stuff. Alright. Uh, Pag-usapan natin ngayon yung specs nitong uh, Razer Siren Mini. So, easiest way to do that is let's just go to their website. So, one thing about this mic and uh, hindi lang naman sa mic na to actually in any mic. Pag bumibili kayo ng mic or nagtitingin kayo ng mic, very important yung polar pattern nung mic. Dapat alam niyo yung polar pattern ng mic and then at the same time alam niyo kung anong polar pattern ang kailangan ninyo. So, ano ba yung mga polar patterns? So, the two, two of the uh, polar patterns na nandyan or pinapakita dito is itong cardioid and super cardioid. Meron ding omnidirectional na polar pattern. Yung omnidirectional na polar pattern is yung any direction dun sa mic, uh, no, kahit saan pa, no, dun ka nakapwesto dun sa relative sa mic, pare-pareho lang yung pickup niya or yung lakas ng pickup niya. Compare that, uh, for example, no, dito sa cardioid mic. So, itong cardioid mic, yung polar pattern niya or yung itsura niya is ganito, no, parang heart. Actually, kaya cardioid ang tawag dyan kasi heart-shaped siya. So, meaning yan, yung harapan, which is in this part, no, yung harapan, dyan yung pinakamalakas na pickup. And then, sa gilid, medyo maunting hihina. And then, sa likod, mababa talaga yung pickup. So, an example of that mic, kasi itong typical na ginagamit, or yung kadalasang ginagamit ko para sa channel na ito pag gusto kong gumamit ng condenser mic. So, itong Scarlett Studio na ito, uh, na condenser mic na ginagamit ko, ayan, nakalagay na mismo sa mic yung polar pattern niya, no, which is this cardioid polar pattern, meaning, yung harapan ng mic, which is this one, no, ito yung harapan, yan yung pinakamalakas yung pickup, sa gilid, medyo mahina, sa likod, mahina talaga yung pickup. So, that is this mic. Now, this mic though is different. Ang kanyang uh, polar pattern is super cardioid. So, ano yung super cardioid na polar pattern? So, meron ka nitong parang uh, cardioid na parang pa-heart dito sa harapan. And then, meron ka pa rin extra uh, parang curve doon sa likod. Meaning, yung harapan mo may pick up and then yung likod meron ka pa ring pick up pero mas mababa kaysa doon sa harapan. Alright? So, kumpara dito sa mga cardioid na harapan yung malakas sa likod, talagang mahinang mahina. Ito, meron pa ring onting pick up sa likod. Sa gilid, medyo mas mababa. Pero pagdating dito sa area na to, no? Itong area na to, which is around, mga around, kunyari, kung iaano mo sa harapan, relative sa harapan, mga around 135, maybe, uh, degree or uh, 120 degree basta hindi ko na ano exactong sure na <laughs> hindi ako exact pero parang sabihin na natin around 120 degrees mula sa harapan medyo mahina or talagang yun yung pinakamababa yung pick up niya niya so ito yung angle na to na pinapakita ko sa kamay ko yan yung pinakamababa yung pick up ng mic na to so kung ano man yung sound na ayaw niyo marinig itapat niyo dito sa sa kung saan pinapakita ko dito sa kamay ko Alright, so that's the super cardioid polar pattern for you na meron itong mic na to. The other technical specs nitong mic na to na gusto ko ipakita sa inyo is, is this uh, frequency response curve. Now, uh, let's not get too much technical about that. Basta ang importante lang dito, typically, yung mga mic na enhanced for voice, ganito yung itsura ng response curve nila. 
no yung part na to yung bandang kanan na nakita niyo to which is yung upper mids pataas siya no meron siyang ganyang uh, itsura ganyan yung itsura ng curve niya pataas sa part na yan pag nakita kayo ng mic na ganyan typically that's enhanced for voice which is not surprising para sa mic nito kasi nga uh, Razer designed this for gamers no which is yung mga nagii-stream no typically yun nga mar- madalas nagsasalita na nagsasalita yan sa mic so there's not Uh, there's not too much surprise there kung ba't ganyan yung uh, frequency response curve ninya. Alright? So, just to give you a heads up, yun nga, this is for uh, enhanced for voice. But of course, hindi naman yan limited lang dyan. It's just that, yeah, that's the eh, parang pinaka major na uh, it's major this, uh, of course, hindi naman limited dyan dyan. Uh, it's just that yun yung parang pinaka target ninya. No? Yung parang enhanced for voice. Alright? Okay, so now, ito na yung pinakahintay nyo siguro sa part na to. Ang dami pa natin mga pinagsabi kanina, no? I just thought importante yung mga yan. Um, maggawa na tayo ng mga iba't ibang sound test. So, ang unang-una natin gagawin sound test is just uh, testingin natin kung ano yung pickup nitong mic na to pagdating sa ambient sound. Uh, dito sa kwarto, aircon ko lang yung bukas. Walang bukas na electric fan sa tabi ko or yung ceiling fan, di rin nakabukas. Uh, yung PC ko lang na uh, ngayon eh hindi naman nagtotrottle so wala ring sound from that so just the aircon no hindi rin wala ring ingay sa labas so i'll just uh, stop speaking for the next 5 seconds para lang ma-check ma- ninyo kung ano yung kanyang uh, ambient sound pick up all right so that's the ambient sound pick up test Okay, yung next test na to is para i-test natin yung super cardioid polar pattern na yun na sinasabi natin kanina. So, what we're gonna do, iikot natin tong mic ng 360 degrees habang meron tayong piniplay na long beeping sound. And because of that super cardioid polar pattern kanina, dapat makakarinig kayo ng parang hihina siya or lalakas. Depende sa kung nasan yung uh, location ng sound relative doon sa mic. So, okay, gawin na natin. So, play ko na yung sound. Okay, yan. So, 360 degrees. And uh, sana na-observe nyo yung lumalakas siya or humihina siya uh, based doon sa location ng sound relative sa mic. Now, let's go to another test. Maggawa lang tayo ng proximity test. So, lalayo, lalapit lang ako doon sa mic. Uh, and then, papakinggan lang natin kung gano'ng kalakas yung pick up niya. So, una nating test is talagang malapit. Ito. Hello, sound check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yan, sobrang lapit natin sa mic. Yan, ganyan yung distansya natin sa mic. Okay? <laughs> Now, the next is, lalayo natin ng onte. Uh, siguro ito is mga around 8 inches away sa atin. So, ito yung sound niya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ten. And then, layo tayo ng onte. Mga layo tayo ng mga, sabihin natin, isang metro. Hindi, huwag muna isang metro. Kalahating metro muna. Layo ang isang metro. Ito yung kalahating metro. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then, layo tayo mga isang metro. Ito yun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then, layo pa ulit tayo. Alright. Siguro mga dalawang metro na to. Let's try again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then lastly, balik na tayo. Siguro close to 3 meters na itong line na ito. Alright, try ulit natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright? Okay, balik na tayo. So, all throughout that uh, test, tinatrying natin as much as possible para pareho yung volume ng boses natin para marinig natin uh, yung uh, 
pagkakaiba nung mga yung pick up nung mic uh, habang lumalayo tayo. Again, yung volume natin sa ating recording software is just around 90%. Hindi ko sinasagad ng 100 kasi baka mag-clip yung sound and then masira yung audio mismo. All right? Okay, next na test natin is just papalakpak lang tayo. Tingnan lang natin kung ano yung pickup niya pag uh, may pumapalakpak sa tabi natin. <laughs> Ba't ba may papalakpak sa tabi natin, di ba? I mean, siguro yung mga uh, sound tank na ganun, bilang may nalaglag or something. Anyway, parapak na tayo. Sa bandang gil dyan, ito harap. Alright, so ayan. And then, um, ito ginawa natin last time. Tingnan lang natin kung ano yung pick up niya kapag may kumakain ng chips sa tabi natin or tayo mismo kumakain ng chips. So tingnan natin kung ano yung magiging sound, okay? Eh, wag ko ba kung bakit sinimulan yung kain ng chips na test na yan? Then sinimulan lang natin sa <laughs> sa previous na uh, mic test natin but I think moving forward sa mga mic na review natin gagawin na natin palagi yan okay so yun yung um, test natin uh, palakpak at saka pagka yung chips na may kumakain ng chips sa uh, paligid natin habang nag uh, stream tayo or nag record tayo ng video next na test natin is mag uh, tetest natin yung keyboard so ano yung sound ng keyboard kapag uh, nagta-type tayo or naglalaro tayo, di ba? Uh, yung keyboard ko is na uh, sa likod ng mic, so pakita natin. So ito yung keyboard natin, so ito yung mic as you can see, uh, nasa likod natin siya. So medyo I mean, iba yung pickup ng sound niyan of course versus pag nasa harapan natin. Anyway, nasa likod siya. So I'm using a uh, mechanical keyboard from Logitech. So yung mga mechanical keyboard mas clicky siya. Uh, kaya mas maririnig maririnig siya actually so try natin so i'm just randomly typing anything and then itong rage typing test just in case ay galit ka sa game okay so that's it no that's our keyboard mic test or keyboard sound test para sa mic na to Next, we'll do an electric fan test. Just in case may electric fan kayo sa gilid ninyo or kung nasan man. So, uh, tingnan natin kung ano yung pickup ng mic na to. So, ito yung electric fan na gagamitin natin. Uh, hindi siya ganun kalaki, maliit lang. Pero ilalagay natin sa pinakamalakas niya. So, ilalagay natin sa around 90 degrees uh, nitong uh, mic natin. No? So, uh, so i-on na natin yan. Ayan, naka-on na yung mic, ay, naka-on na yung electric fan. So, ayan yung pickup niya. So, just in case naka-electric fan kayo, uh, syempre, hindi naman ganito kalapit yung electric fan ninyo, di ba? Malamang, mas malayo ng onte. Nilalagay ko lang dito. Just to have that extreme scenario. Saka, medyo maliit yung electric fan natin. So, medyo compensate natin versus uh, actual na mas malaking electric fan by uh, mas malapit siya. Okay, yung next na test natin is just an acoustic guitar test. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is um, we'll just play whatever random sound and then uh, tatapat lang natin mismo yung uh, mic na to dito sa butas ng ating gitara. Okay. That's it for the acoustic guitar test. Okay, now mag-try tayo ng electric guitar sound. So I will play twice. Yung una is just a clean sound and then next is lalagyan natin ng unting distortion. Alright, so yung mic na to ngayon nakaharap sa akin. I next is iyaharap ko na siya dito sa amplifier natin. Okay.
Okay, yun nga palang again yung uh, test na yun sa mga gitara as is. No? Wala tayong ginawang enhancement at hindi rin natin to i-enhance sa post. Uh, so, as it is lang. Now, we go to the question na uh, pwede ba ito sa mobile phones? Pwede ba sa Android? Pwede ba sa uh, iOS? Pwede ba sa Apple? So, uh, let's try that. No? Tingnan natin. So, usually, ang kailangan natin kapag uh, gagamit kayo ng mga ganitong USB mics sa mga phones is obviously wala siya nung normal na USB uh, na jack here so ang kailangan niyo is kailangan niyo ng OTG connector so in my case this is my Galaxy S21 so in my case dito sa Android phone na to uh, is it's a USB C so kailangan ko ng OTG connector na USB C and then yung kabilang side is yung normal na USB so that's what I'm gonna do now iko connect ko to dito And then, uh, i-coconnect ko na yung mic na to uh, dito sa USB na to. So, tatanggalin ko na muna siya sa PC and then ikakabit ko dito. And then, magre-record tayo using this cellphone. Okay? Alright. So, dito na tayo ngayon nagre-record sa ating uh, Android phone. So, I'm using Galaxy S21. Uh, and we're recording this via this mic. So, itong mic na to, itong uh, Razer, uh, Razer Siren Mini. So, pagsaksak ninyo, ayan. No, kahit sa cellphone nyo siya sinaksak, uh, under pa rin yung green na ilaw which gives you an idea na naka-on yung mic and gumagana siya. Now, to prove na dito nga talaga tayo nagsasalita or dito tayo nagre-record via this mic, is tatanggalin ko to. Ayan. And now, yung pagre-record is just via the uh, default mic nitong ating cellphone. So, Uh, ibabalik ko ulit to para dito na ulit tayo mag-record and makita nyo or maririnig nyo yung diferensya nagre-record dito na ulit tayo nagre-record sa mic na to sa Razer Siren Mini so yeah that's your proof na pwede siya sa Android phones alright so ngayon naman itatry naman natin siya sa iPhone or sa iOS devices um, again uh, kailangan nyo lang din ng OTG connector so this one kailangan nyo ng lightning to USB Just like the one I'm showing you right now. So, ikakabit nyo lang to dito. And then, itong other end, no, dyan nyo na ilalagay yung uh, mic na to. So, let me just do that. And then, dito na tayo mag-record sa iPhone. Now, i-check naman natin kung pwede tong mic na to sa iOS devices. So, in this case, I'm recording via my iPhone 12. So, yeah, pwede siya. <laughs> so, ngayon, nagdito na tayo nag-record actually no, sa mic na to. Ito na yung... Uh, nagpipick up ng ating sound and then um, just to show you na kapag saksak nyo aandar ah, ah, under din yung green na ilaw so yan parang katulad din no, ng tinry natin kanina yung android device natin now just to compare again ito yung sound kapag ka recta tayo nagre-record sa ating iphone tanggalin ko lang itong mic na to yan ito yung sound na yun kapag direkta tayo nagre-record sa iphone so may pagkakaiba So ayan, tinanggal natin. Prove na tinanggal natin. Ito yan eh, para dito yan. So ibabalik ko na to para marinig nyo ulit yung diferensya. Record na ulit tayo ng ating video and we are using this our, as our uh, audio source. Okay? So yep, pwede siya para sa inyong iPhone. Alright, so tapos na tayo sa mga ba't ibang test ng mic na to and I think you're interested magkano ba tong mic na to. Uh, let's just go online and um, wala akong any affiliated link by the way para sa mic na to. So I'm just gonna go online and look for it. So tingnan natin no, kung mga around magkano ba tong mic na to. So if you go let's say sa uh, online shop, let's say Lazada, so you can see yung mga parang price range niya merong 2 799, merong 2,495, merong 2,657, 2,7. So, I'm gonna say around 2,500 to 3,000 pesos maybe no sa Lazada. And then, if you go to Shopee, you'll probably be in the same boat, no around 2,500 no, to around 3,000 pesos. So, depende na lang sa kung anong shop yung inyong pupuntahan. So, that's the price range nitong uh, mic na to. Alright? So, If you compare that, let's say, sa ibang budget mic na makikita nyo sa Shopee or Lazada, medyo mas may kamahalan to. Kasi yung mga iba doon makikita nyo around 800 pesos, 1,000, may iba pang around 500 pesos. But of course, maybe iba yung quality. And then at the same time, 
This is Razer, so medyo may pangalan, may brand, so and then may 12 months na warranty, no, yung 1 year warranty. So medyo nag add up yung mga yon. And then kaya yung parang budget level nila or yung entry na mic nila is around 2,500 pesos. So just to give you an idea, so yan yung pricing nung mic na to. Um, what do you think of this mic? No, um, obviously this mic is parang ang target audience ng uh, Razer is yung mga streamers. Uh, so naka-enhance siya for voice. And I think pagdating sa voice, okay siya. No? Okay siya. Gusto ko yung sound niya, to be honest with you. And uh, but one thing that surprised me here is actually medyo maganda rin yung pickup niya sa sound. So nung nagtumugtog ako kanina nung sa gitara, And then pinakinggan ko both sa acoustic and even sa electric guitar. I mean, surprisingly, parang okay din yung sound niya, di ba? So, I mean, overall, I think if you have some budget, this might be some uh, a mic na worth exploring or uh, magig option, uh, one of your options, no? Pagka meron kayong around budget na ganun, around 3,000 pesos. Uh, obviously, there are other options na budget uh, uh, sa online shops like Lazada or Shopee or kung saan man sa internet pa, iba pang mga shop na online. But if you want uh, to have something na parang medyo okay yung quality uh, and then uh, yan, compact, madaling dalin just in case uh, gusto yung I mean, lagay lang sa bag ninyo, uh, this shape and this size will be very advantageous pwede sa phone both android and ios so pwede siya so i think overall i think uh, masusulit niyo naman yung pagkakabili uh, sa kanya but of course uh, let let me know what you think of this mic let us know sa comment section do you like this mic do you not like this mic Uh, or anong tingin nyo pwede pang equivalent no, no? around 3,000 pesos baka meron pang ibang mas magandang alternative dyan na pwede nyo nga tingnan as another option uh, versus this mic alright anyway that's our unboxing uh, our review of this Razer Siren Mini sana nagustuhan nyo yung ating review if you do please hit that like button And if you haven't, please do subscribe. Maraming salamat po sa mga nakapag-subscribe na. Doon po sa mga hindi pa nakakapag-subscribe, please subscribe. Uh, help support this channel. Let's go road to 10,000. So, nalampasan na natin yung ating road to 1K. Maraming salamat po sa mga nag-subscribe. Now, let's go to road to 10,000 subscribers. Alright? So, maraming salamat. If you have questions, again, let us know sa comment section. And if you don't mind, please share this video. Baka may ibang... Uh, makaka matutulungan yung video na to to make their purchasing decision and say hey actually that mic sounds good or pwede rin hey I was actually looking at that mic and then after this review parang hindi pala ganun kaganda it's up to you depende kung anong kailangan ninyo and depende kung ma, uh, this one fits your need alright okay dyan na po nagtatapos ang ating review maraming salamat po sa panonood I'll see you in the next video this is Kamotic Reviews peace out